నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ ఆయుర్వేదం త్రీ సిక్స్టీ సో ఇన్ ది స్టైపండ్ సిరీస్ వీ హ్యావ్ కవర్డ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఆల్ పోస్ట్ గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ కాలేజెస్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ద రీసెంట్ రివిజన్ ఇన్ రాజస్థాన్ స్టేట్ దట్ ఈస్ ది కాలేజెస్ కమింగ్ అండర్ డాక్టర్ సర్వపల్లి రాధాకృష్ణన్ రాజస్థాన్ ఆయుర్వేద యూనివర్సిటీ దట్ ఈస్ డిఎస్ఆర్ ఆర్ఈయు జోధ్పూర్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఇన్ రాజస్థాన్ దేర్ ఆర్ మల్టిపల్ చేంజెస్ ఇన్ ది స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ స్టైఫండ్ బోర్ ఫర్ బోత్ ఇంటర్నీస్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ది పోస్ట్ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ ది ఎగ్జాక్ట్ రివైజ్డ్ వర్షన్ ఆఫ్ స్టైఫండ్ ఫర్ బోత్ ఇంటర్నీస్ అండ్ ది పోస్ట్ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ ఫర్ ది స్కాలర్స్ స్టడింగ్ ఇన్ డిఎస్ఆర్ ఆర్ఏయు యూనివర్సిటీ సో కైండ్లీ వాచ్ దిస్ టిల్ ది ఎండ్ so you might have heard regarding the tremendous pressure that was put forward due to the strikes made by the scholars of dsr rau specifically for the stipend to be revised as you might have heard the earlier revision had already taken place for a particular college in udaipur and there was a demand for at least keeping the stipend same for the other college under the same university now the internee stipend from the date of april 1st 2021 that is you can say arrears will be given for for one year is fixed now to be 14000 as the basic salary that is 14000 basic salary for or you can say rather than salary the stipend for internees now along with the basic stipend there will be an addition of da that is dearness allowance now this is calculated and on the basis of the regular uh, amendments made by <coughs> made by the government based on the 6 month report now as of now the da of the government employees that is both central as well as the state is standing at 38% and the new stipend that is uh, applied year is based on 7th pay commission earlier it was only 6th pay commission now this is revised for 7th pay commission so because of that at present 38% of the total 14000 will be da so that comes to be about for now 5320 and when you add both of them it comes to about around 19320 so this will be for the internees earlier you can see the basic salary or stipend of internee where uh, was about 7000 being the basic so almost half of it almost half of the current stipend was the earlier stipend that is why it's a huge difference especially for the interview and of course every 6 months da will be revised that's why the total stipend also will get revised every 6 months that is from january and uh, up to june there will be a stipend of one structure then from july to december there will be a hike in the stipend due to change in da so this is in relation to internees a very small amount of scholars are going getting uh, benefit from this now coming to the actual Uh, uh, the post graduate stipend which you are all may be waiting so basically the earlier pay commission was sixth pay commission and earlier structure was first pg second pg third pg such, uh, successively 19000 20000 and 21000 being the basic stipend so i am talking only about basic other than basic there will be dearness allowance that is da and it was calculated on the basis of sixth pay commission so in the sixth pay commission the da that is dearness allowance was already around 150 160% of the uh, basic so almost 150 160% so if the basic is 20000 so it uh, the da comes to about uh, 30 32000 so total it used to be around 50 to 55 it uh, the range was between that now after the revision what is the exact stipend now we are seeing that and this is applicable from april 1st of this year that is 2022 now which are the colleges coming under the uh, government Uh, category which uh, the stipend what we are talking is applicable two colleges one is the university college the campus available in the jodhpur other one is udaipur college now the exact details of these colleges i think you might have already uh, studied about them or you can say uh, gone through them like 11 departments are available in jodhpur like these are the departments so i'm not going to uh, explain each of them self explanatory and in the case of udaipur that is madan mohan malviya college so there are five branches for post graduation as of now it may get revised depending on the ncsm guidelines now the uh, other than 
uh, you can say uh, the departments now the stipend the actual stipend as of now is first year second year third year basic structure itself is changed you can see here the pay commission is changed from 6th to 7th and it is not just the conversion of 6th to 7th there is even amendment made amendment made in the sense there are various changes done to get this exact number i am not going to get so that in detail now so first professional bms i mean md first year md scholar will get a basic of 55 200 second md scholar will get a basic of 58 650 whereas third pg scholar will get a basic of more than 60000 now this is just the basic as we have already discussed dms allowance will be added to that if you add the dms allowance or calculate the dms allowance right now 38% of the basic so calculating that you will get around uh, 20 22 23000 20, for respective years of post graduation so ultimately there will not be any other allowance for the post graduate scholar so adding that will be your total stipend so first pg scholar will get now about 76000 the second pg scholar will get almost 81 and the third pg scholar almost touching 84 plus so this is the revised revised version as i already mentioned the earlier pay scale was somewhere around 50 55 and it is suddenly changed to 75 plus and the credit should go to all the scholars who have uh, you can say uh, struggled hard to give notice to all the stakeholders or you can say the government uh, employees who are uh, working under this field and ultimately it was Uh, under tremendous pressure and on a live you can say strike where cm was met uh, the decision was taken ultimately the benefit is given for few months before prior to the actual uh, acceptance that is the financial year from april 1st there will be some arrears and the actual stipend as of now is this if you want to calculate the actual arrear stipend then you have to go back to the da at that particular point of time for april may and june you have to calculate the da of 34% and from july onwards this is the actual stipend and from next january on onwards what is the stipend that depends on the exact increase in the da so this is in relation to the pg stipend as of now in rajasthan under dsr re and you might have got a question why why the national institute of ayurveda jaipur is not shown here so national institute of ayurveda is uh, deemed to be university as of now and it is not under any of any other university earlier it was under jodhpur that's why uh, there was some confusion uh, otherwise also the stipend structure was not from jodhpur it was run by central government with this change in uh, the stipend structure you might be surprised to know that the stipend is more than that of jaipur jamnagar delhi that is major national institutes under central government so as of now there are no other allowances that's why that is the final stipend so for other information wherever there is no update you can say where the stipend is as earlier as that of the earlier version you can go through all the state government related policies so links is links are available in the description so for more of such videos kindly like share and subscribe to our channel kindly uh, press the notification bell so that you get an uh, idea whenever the videos are uploaded And the next time, bye.